this is just a situation where these rats come in here and feed at night and uh, a great place to just put some blind sets this is a blind set there's no lure here um, they come in root around these roots um, tracks around you just put a couple sets in I have another set over there about five feet nothing's in it but uh, we'll take care of this rat here and uh, we'll remake the set now that we got this rat taken care of I'll show you the construction of this set here basically this log is just our little drowner that's big enough if we get a coon also there's some coon work in here that that we can still have a a good set. Let's make a nice little bed there. Tore it up a little bit, but that's not going to matter. So take that. Set that right in there. Just about an inch of water. That's all you need. These rats come in here rooting around these logs and stuff for for some buried treasure, something to eat, and. Uh, you know, step right on your trap. So you can use these situations pretty much anywhere for muskrats. These little inlet feeder streams, things like that coming off a big stream. These animals are going to work these and come in and, uh, you know, you, you'll, you'll catch animals. You don't need bait. You don't need lure. Just a good blind set here is all you really need. I got the trap placed right there where I need it. And uh, I expect to catch a couple more here. I'm not really... Uh, I got a couple mink sets up this little ditch here. That's what I'm really looking for. We don't have any today, but um, hopefully I'll be able to show you something up there. I remember called uh, a couple weeks ago and said I got some rats in my pond I'd like to get taken out. So, you know, we come up and there's a couple channels through here. I don't think there's a lot of rats. They got four different channels down through here. We got one here, but this is just another opportunity to get out, catch some rats, do a little public service. That's one thing, you know, keep your ears to the, keep your ears to the ground. There's a lot of times people say, yeah, I know where there's some muskrats. I know where there's some beaver. Um, hey, I see coon in my garbage can all the time. Those are the type of things, if you listen throughout the year, whether it be May, June, whatever, make a little note. Come, come trapping season, you have a place right there you can go, and those people are going to be more than happy to help you out because they don't want the, uh, disturbance of the animals so we got one more in a trap down here we're going to take out so we got two and four sets and uh we'll probably leave them here a couple nights i don't think there's too much uh rat activity but we'll get them out and show them that we got a few and uh maybe have another place to trap next year here we are in one of those situations i was just talking about what we have here this is a little stream you can see where these rats are going. See an indention where they're coming down through here, right down this little gut here. I'm just going to throw a 110 duke in here. I like to use these little stakes right here. We just cut them out of, uh, I think it's um, two by four, and they're about half inch wide, an inch and a half, two inches at the top, and tapered down. And what that does for us, you'll see here in a second, I take that stake then, and I put that right through my Loop, and that's how I hold my trap. That's how we stake our traps in. That gives us some good stability. And all you do, put that right where you want it, right down in. That's exactly, I'm going to move it up here just a tad bit. Right there. So that trap's in the water now. I don't usually like the trap out of the water, but uh, that's all right for here. I know these rats are coming down through here. I can see where there's some claw marks on the bank over here. And then all I do is take a stick, put that through the trap chain at the end. And that's going to be my stability right there. And then I'm just going to take some other little sticks and just kind of guide them in. Just right here. Give them a little reason to dive and stay that way. And then if I want to, I can just put one in this way and have that up over the trap. And that right there is all it takes. Those rats are going to come down through here or up through here, and they're going to, they're going to swim right through that conibear right there. And it's stable because I used that stake to hold it down in. These are very simple, very easy to put in. I'm going to put three or four up through here, and uh, I know I'm going to take rats in these because they're going to work this whole area tonight. Well, there we are. we got four sets up through here. This is the upper set. 
working off of the, it, it narrows really down up here. This is about as far as the sign goes. And about uh, 50 yards down, we got four sets in. And uh, these rats are going to work up and down through here, like I said, and I fully expect to have some rats tomorrow. So just work this little channel ways, um, put your connies in. You don't have to worry about finding the holes. Um, I like to set the channels, let them come out, move around a little bit, and they get working up and down through here, you're going to catch these rats. So we're going to head on out, go over to another place, and uh, make a few more sets, but I'm excited to come back here tomorrow, see what we have. Well, here's this set we made yesterday. Just in this little... Uh, Stream here, like I said, work in this middle, just find where they're running up and down. This rat was obviously going up. Stakes right there. Nice big rat. Just get this reset. Very simple, very easy to do here. Stick the stake right in. Put that right down in between the jaw. Grab it right back down in. And it's right back in the channel right there that's all there is to it very simple got a rat nice big rat that is a big rat trapping rats is fun when you have them um, you just need to work these middle edgeways here Find where there's some sign. You know, you don't have to find the holes. They're going to travel up and down these. As you can see, this one was coming up. This is where the sign started for me. I didn't even think there was much sign down below, but this rat was obviously coming up. And uh, we're going to go up here and check a couple more, see if we have a couple. Well, there's another rat. Look in this ditch here. He was also coming up, so he was in between. We didn't have anything in the two bottom sets, but four, four conna bears, two rats. That's all right for the first night. I'm happy with that. I know that these four sets are going to take the rats that I want. Get that right back there in the channel. Two nice rats. And uh, we'll head on out and come back tomorrow. See if we have a couple more. I'm going to walk the edge of this, this whole marsh system here. It's only about 100, 150 yards, the whole system. There's three huts like this. One here, one over here, about 20 yards away, which are your two main huts. And there's another hut all the way at the upper end. I'm going to walk the edges. And these rats are coming out into these cornfields feeding at night and uh, they're gonna work over there I don't need to go out there bust my hump try and find all these sets now there are a couple good sets that you can make where they come up on the hutch you you can put a, a one and a half coil there you know tie it off and then you know the, the weight of the traps gonna drown them right there but I mean that's just too much it, it's it's mucky you sink in and uh, there's a lot easier ways to do this in these type of situations. So what we're going to do, we're going to just walk this uh, up through here. We're going to keep our eyes out where they're coming out into the fields feeding. And I'm going to just throw some connies in. These areas are perfect for this type of situation. And uh, you can see where they're going to come out. They're going to work in, in those channels. And uh, you're going to catch every rat in here just working the sides instead of going out there around the hutch. You go out around the hutch, you damage the holes, they may change their habits and things. So I'm just going to stay away from that, work this edge up through here, and uh, I, I guarantee you we're going to catch some rats in here. There's no doubt in my mind. This is the first time I've come in here all year. I didn't have even time to come in. I mean, I seen it from, from the road. I knew there were rats in here, and I kind of kept my eye on it throughout the season to see if anybody's been in here, and I haven't seen anybody trapping there's no tracks or anything except coon tracks and animal tracks but uh, we're gonna work this side we're gonna work the whole thing we're gonna work the other side down then 
put eight or ten sets in we're gonna catch the rats we want to catch and you maybe even catch a mink or two working around here because mink are prone to work in these marsh systems where these muskrats are you know you get a big male in here he may want to eat a muskrat or two if he can get a free meal but uh you know we've caught uh, a lot of mink in situations like this just in our rat kind of bear so i'm gonna keep my eye open for some mink sign but we're gonna set this pretty heavy along the edges for the rats and uh work our way up through here and see what we got This is one of those situations. We're working this little edgeway out into this field right here, and we're gonna just throw a Connie in right here. Right down into that little channel there. That's perfect. Now I need just I need a stick to stabilize it and then we're all done. Let me get a stick. I'm gonna use this corn stalk here just to stabilize it. That's all we need. As you look out here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's green and then it's muddy in a channel right here. And those rats are uh, working up under here, and they're working out into the they're working out into the fields right here through this little patch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one conibear bear right here. We're going to put this one body gripper right here. Right where they're coming out, you can see the, you can see the channel. It's hard bottom right here, coming right out in, coming out both places right here. So we're gonna put that right here in this channel. We're gonna actually pull this down like this. And that's gonna fit perfectly right in there, right there. That goes right down in that channel. And that's perfect. They're going to come out there if they're coming in. This is a good spot. May catch a mink in too. These are a type of minky type sets that you can catch muskrats and mink in. But uh, they're going to work this here. That's right down in there, right on the bottom, right up against the edge. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect where they're coming out into this field. We're going to put one right here where they go in under the grass also. You can see it's all muddy here. that stabilizer in there you can see that's all hard bottom right there they come over here I think every night we're gonna have some good action here tonight push that down in there and that's right on the bottom that's perfect working right in from this hut right down here got another set there two sets and a good out into the cornfield and then you gotta walk out in that middle there well, here we are. We're about three feet off. This this was muddy here. I wouldn't even have known this was here if it wasn't muddy, which tells me that they're using it. This is just hard pan down here where it goes up under this. You can see it goes up under the, the grass here. So they're coming up in under this field somewhere coming out. Well, that's hard. That's a good scent right there. I'm anxious. And what I do is I push this down in so I feel, I, I got my boot right in the middle of the channel and I feel that trap hit my boot and I pull my foot out and then push it down in the rest of the way. And then go down in with my hand and make sure it's on the, on the bottom. And that's in on the bottom now. So that's how I do that. You put your foot in. Push that trap down, even though you can't see it, you can feel it hit your foot, pull your foot out and then push it down the rest of the way and you're all set. Get our stabilizer, also lets us know where our traps are. We got five sets in already on this side. We're up about, oh, probably 30, 40 yards from them huts now and it starts to narrow off here. So we're gonna work our way to the other side and uh, work that other side down through, find these areas like this on the other side, and uh, we should have some rats tomorrow when we come in here. There's a heck of a good channel here that works in under this grass and comes out into the, comes out into the 
cornfield. But we're gonna just put this one right in there. Get that right down on the bottom. Mark it and stabilize it at the same time with this corn stalk. That's all there is to it. They're gonna move here on their own. <laughs> Don't make it harder than it is, folks. We just got about 10 sets in here. We're all the way at the bottom now. This is our last set. We're gonna head out. We got about nine or 10 sets in here. Four or five on the other side, four or five on this side. And uh, we're gonna take pretty much every rat we wanna take in here. They're gonna work over to these edgeways. They gotta eat, they gotta get to this corn. There's no need to you know, muck around in that stuff out there by them huts. You know, can't get your boot out of the mud just looking for that one channel or whatever when you can find them over here along the edges and uh, those, those rats are gonna work over here. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation. That one there, I think, was coming back out. Maybe he got by and come back out through here. Anyway, we'll get that right back in that channel there. Just push this down till I feel it on my foot. Make sure it's on the bottom. And we're ready to go. Nice rat there. And then, Goes up under these weeds here. Got us another rat. Tell you, work these edges. You don't have to bust your butt out in them swamps and it makes it a lot easier. I mean, as you can see, these rats are coming out into this cornfield and you don't have to be out there in their holes and their huts. And it just makes it easier on you. It makes it less time consuming. And just uh, get you to a position where you can cover a lot more ground during the day. We'll try and find our whole hill this was in. Get her back in there. Two more rats. We've got a few more sets on the other side. We'll go over there, see if we have a couple over there. There's a lower set over on the other side. Got one here. Big old rat. We're about 30 yards from the hunt. Well, that's a big old rat right there. Big old rat. About 30 yards from the hut. And uh, that rat's working his way down towards the end. Perfect spot, just find these little channels. Well, got another one here. Another rat. Going in that hole right there. Boy, that's hard bottom right there. You gotta like those hard bottoms. Yeah. Another nice rat. We got a set up here. My corn stalk fell down. I don't know quite, oh, there's the channel. I just stepped in it. <laughs> there's a stake. Hey, look at that. Another rat. Two nice rats. 
we got five rats just working the edge here today. First night, five rats. Um, I'm tickled pink. We'll get more in here. Uh, supposed to snow tonight a little bit. First snow of the year. Here we are, December 10th, 11th, 12th, whatever date it is, and getting our first snow. So we'll get some more in here, and we got five the first night. That works good for me. We've been sitting in this swamp for, oh geez, 20 years at least. Um, there's a big swamp here with cattails and rat huts out in the middle, and this funnels down, as you can see, into this somewhat of a little trickle. It's not a trickle, but it's not a very big, big funnelization into under the roadway here. You probably hear the cars going by. I apologize about that. But rather than walking out through this swamp, looking for the huts, setting the huts, this, that, and the other thing, I have rat toilets down here on the rocks. I know these rats come down here. They're going to come down here uh, every night. You're going to have rats work their way down through here. And uh, here's our stakes again. Very easy. Holds it right in place. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. But uh, you're going to have rats work down through here every night. Last year I set this, I trapped, oh, I don't know, I probably had my sets here seven, eight days. I think I caught 11 rats here in this channel. Had a double, a double, I'm going to put two sets, I'm going to put one right here and one right up here. I'm going to show you both of them. But uh, I think I caught 11 rats here in like seven nights. And I had a couple misses, I even caught a fish here, a little pike, I don't even know where it came from. But. Um, then my dad came in after I pulled out. He said, do you mind if I go in there and set? I said, heck no, I stole a spot from you anyway. And he came in, and I think he caught six or seven more. So we caught about 18 rats in just two sets right here coming in and out of this cattail marsh, just going into under the road. That's The point I'm trying to make here is don't bust your butt to walk out into these swamps set every little nook and cranny if you have the time and if you're going to work you can stop check two sets boom you're back in the car it takes about two minutes to look at this and one good thing about these snakes if i do catch a rat and he's struggling these usually pop out and they're floating in the water just like that all i have to do is practically most of the time look down and i'll either see a rat back sticking out of the water or my steak will be floating it's like Christmas Day when you come in and have your steaks floating. But, uh, you know, don't don't walk out into these swamps and just bust your butt all day long setting 20 sets out in there. Yeah, okay, you may make 20 good sets, but you just took three hours walking out into this swamp, and you're going to catch probably the 11 to 15 rats that I'm going to catch. Yes, you may do it in one day. But I can come in here, put these in, in a matter of two to five minutes, be back in the truck on the way, and I'm going to take every rat that I want to take in these two sets as they work down through here or work up from the other side. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't make it harder than it is. There we go. Right there. Just tie that off. Get me a stick in here that will hold that chain in case I do get a mink. We have caught mink in this channel before. But uh, then all I'm going to do is take one little stick right in there, right next to the thing, and that thing is set. It's ready to go. I got the trap in place, stable with that stake system that we use, and with the wood stakes. And I'm going to put one more right here. And uh, this, this is going to take rats. I know it's going to take rats. We're going to put this other set in. We just put that one in about five feet down. This will be our second set in this channel. Very simple, it's uh, they're just working down through here. They may be working down through that side there too, so. But we got a good little, good little workway here. They're working down through here. And uh, one other thing with these right here, you can actually take your trap and put it just like that. And that's gonna hold that in place. So these, these stakes are, I mean, these are great. You can go in this way, or you can go in 
this way, however you want to hold these in there, I mean, they're going to go. We're just going to stick this one right in here. Got that right in the channel. Take this. Drive that down in. And then we're just going to throw one dive stick in over under there. That's going to be right at the top of the edge of the water. These sets are going to take rides for us. And uh, I'm not walking way out there busting my butt working all the huts. And I know there's two or three huts out there at least. I can see one about 20 yards from me. But these rats are going to work down through this little channel at night. I got two sets here. I stop by two rats for two minutes of work every day isn't a lot to me. So work the lower ends where they're going to funnel in. They're going to funnel down. And uh, that's where I'm going to take most of my rats. So we got this uh, covered pretty good for my needs. And uh, we're going to head on up the road. Two rats, two sets. This one was coming up, so it must have been below the bridge. We'll just reset this. dive stick there. Pick our other stake up that's floating. This one was coming down. So we got one coming up and one coming down. And uh, two more rats for the boards. I want to reiterate what I said yesterday as far as as far as uh, not walking out in this swamp. Yeah, I just took two rats here. Um, all you gotta do is stop in and uh, make your sets and you're on your way. I got two good sets here. I'm gonna take every rat in the colony here that I wanna take. I'll probably trap this for about a week. I'd like to catch 10 rats here. Like I said late yesterday, I caught I think 11. 11 and 7 nights, and then my dad came in and caught 5 or 6. We got two more nice rats. I got uh, on the other side where the, this runs into the other swamp, I have another trap over there. And uh, I checked it before I come over here, and we have a rat in that too. So, I mean, I got three traps in here and uh, three rats. So, if I can do that for a week straight, that's, you know, that's quite a few rats. That helps with the gas money. Um, but these are a lot of fun. Hey, you get in these marsh situations, you got a lot of opportunity to, you know, bring a kid and, uh, you know, show, show them what fun it is to catch some of these animals. And it's the whole process, you know, take them home, skin them out. That type of thing is, uh, is what we're really out here for. Well, that's set. That's our fourth set. We got one on each side of these abundance here. That's uh, pretty good sets. Um, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't have a lot of sign coming up, but as you see here, I make a little mud there, and if they're working along, they'll come over and investigate that. Um, caught a lot of rats here before. The high water has changed a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna improvise, make a little trails. There is a lot of sign on this log. Um, there's sign on the other side of the stream where I put the two sets, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch some here. And this is always good for mink too. They're gonna hug this wall when they come down, you know, hunting for crayfish or whatever they're hunting for. And uh, this is a good mink set too. So um, this is just another couple sets you can use on your line. Um, and uh, you know, if you have these type of situations, you're gonna catch fur at them. So. Get out of here and uh, head on down the road and see if we can make some more today. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation.
this situation we got here, this is a big pond, and there's rats in this pond. There's always rats in this pond. There's a big creek down here, and they work up here every year. We don't trap this like a lot of guys would. Um, I don't go into an area like this with the attitude that I have at most areas. I go into most areas with the attitude, gang up, set four or five sets, real good sets, catch them, and get out onto the next spot. For me to do that here, I'd have to bust my butt through all this brush, put chest waders on and work this pond, and I don't want to do that. We got trails leading from the this little edgeway into this cornfield. We got trails through this grass behind me. We got an awesome channel right here where these rats are working down through here. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four sets in these channels. Two Connies about five feet apart here and two Connies up here about ten yards, five feet apart. That's four different sets and we're going to take every rat we want to catch. We may not catch four a day, we may only catch one one day. But over time, just coming in here, we're about 30 yards off the road, we walk down, check our four sets, we're back in the truck. I don't have to walk all the way around the pond. They're going to work their way down here whether it freezes up or not, and uh, this is a perfect setup. Just throw a couple 110s right here in this channel, and uh, I'm excited to see what we get here. You know, this is a great place for mink too. When you're making these muskrat sets, I've caught a lot of mink over the years in my uh, muskrat sets. They'll swim the same channels that these muskrats do, and I know that there's a lot of mink in this area. My dad's caught, I mean, I can remember the first mink I ever seen was probably back in about 19, oh, I don't know, 77 or 78. My dad came home and he made a little, like a set where they came out of the water down here and just kind of slicked the bank up, put a conny and had one the next day. We're just going to throw that conny bear right there in that channel. Perfect fit. Take another Duke 110. Throw that in the channel right there. We got two sets there. I'm going to get a couple sticks real quick to stabilize them up through the trap chains here so if they do get caught they don't pull the trap away with them got that there I'm gonna just break this in half one stick's all I'm gonna use here it's gonna just be a guide stick that goes right between the jaws on the opposite side and we'll get another one right there and two sets real quick we're gonna put two more up here and uh, I'm excited to come back here tomorrow. This is a pretty good channel. This is as good as I've seen this in years. And uh, I think it has a lot to do. We had a lot of water this year, so the rats probably moved out of the big creek up into here. It gave them a little more safer haven. But uh, we'll head on up here and put a couple more in. Rat trapping is a lot of fun. You get in an area like this, you don't get these very often anymore. You know, I haven't seen rats probably since about the middle 80s to where I mean I caught over a hundred when I was 16 the first year I got my driver's license went out and grabbed my mom's car and she let me go out and do trapping in her Ford Escort but um, I haven't seen a lot of rats since then I don't know if it's a die off or if it's the chemicals they use now in the field but uh, this is about as good a rat place as I've seen in a long, long time. So I'm kind of excited to see what I pull in here in the next day or so. We're just going to put this one right here, right where it comes out from under these weeds. And that edgeway acts as a natural barrier for us. So we don't need any dive sticks there. They're coming right out under those weeds, and if they're coming down, they're going to dive in under them. We're going to move up here. Put that one right there where they dive down under the weeds. Drive that stake in just in case they pull the other stake out. And we may just throw one dive stick right there. And that's, uh, that's all it is, folks. We got four sets here. We're going to take every rat we want to take. I'd be thoroughly surprised if we don't have a few rats here tomorrow. They're going to work down here. You can see these channels are just bared out. 
they're working these areas good. They're working into these fields, and uh, I'm kind of excited to come back here tomorrow, see if we have some. So we'll head on up the road. I got one more uh, place I want to show you today and uh, show you how we trap an area where there's a lot of huts and things. We do the same type of setup. We're going to work the edges, though. We're not going to work into the huts. It's a different way to trap them. And it's the way we like to do it and the way I like to do it. And I'll show you a few of those techniques. So let's head on up there and come back here tomorrow and maybe have a few. And we got two there. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Set these yesterday. Just this little channel working out of this little pond. As I told you, you don't need to get up in there. These rats are going to work down here every night. And obviously, that's exactly what they did. We got uh, this one's coming down and this one's coming down. So that's uh, four sets, four rats, first night. I don't expect this to slow down for at least three or four days. I'd say there's at least 20, 30 rats in there probably. We're going to stay. Hopefully we'll get... Uh, I'm going to probably only stay in here about four nights. Just remake that right there. It's real quick. Boy, these steaks are nice, though. I'll tell you, folks. If you get an opportunity, you get an opportunity to make some of these steaks. They're very easy. And uh, as you can see, they hold those conibears in there nice and, uh, nice and sturdy. And it's just a lot easier using those steaks. I mean, that's really quick, really quick. Let's go up here and see what these other two look like. Water came up a tad bit, not bad though. one was coming up so he got down through it yeah about these stakes my uh, my dad's the one I mean he been using them ever since I was like five years old I don't even know where he found the idea out but I mean it sure makes it a lot easier than taking sticks every everywhere you go I mean you can vote you folks can see that these are very easy to put in and not very time consuming. They just boom, it's right there in the right there in the channel and it's ready to go again. Yeah, we got one more right here. And he was coming down. So we got three coming down and one going up. One must have got biased and come back up under that root there. folks four sets four rats very simple working the end of this pond right here don't bust your butt walking up there when you don't need to you can catch them all right at the outlets North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today.